Hey, I'm G Lights, and this is what I did this Halloween. Looks crazy, doesn't it? And it'll all be over soon. I mean, it'll all make sense soon. Sense. So thank you for joining me and don't go anywhere. I mean, stick around. Yes, yes, stick around. Here's the deal. So every month, the evening before Christmas, the Grinches at Enjoy Rust and myself organize special Rust community events where players can participate and win skins and such. More information in the Discord address in the description. And I've decided to start recording these events as there's always lots of laughs and rivers of blood. So, so get yourself a beer and delicious man flesh. And let's begin. The victims awaken in the courtyard. They must survive and escape the haunted mansion, but unfortunately only three are going to make it. The immediate problem, however, is that the way in is shut. It's a puzzle. Can you solve it? This do be looking like a graveyard. Work together, solve the puzzles. I'll give you a hint. The solution is not to brain each other with rocks for 10 minutes. Oh yo, relax, relax. Go man. for it, kill him. Yes. You Did, get him. He got the key, yes! Nice, good job. What key? It's a code lock. Good job. The solution, of course, is grave robbing. It's Halloween, come on, you, you knew what you were getting into. Besides, it, it says it on the door. Oh, there is stashes, stash by the graves. There's stashes. Everybody. I found six. Okay. I found number six. I got number four. I got number two. All right. Me four, too. I find two. Four six two two something with a four six and two two. Let's go! Oh, oh I love let's you guys! Go. Woo let's go baby! There is another optional puzzle in the entrance corridor which they missed completely, so we shan't dwell on it either. This is the inner courtyard. To the left is the death room, and to the right the parkour room. Now, the death room is a goddamn death room, lovingly crafted by my buddy Rodent. I should have died like 50 times by now and that's four steps in. But there's stuff in here that they're gonna need, like bows and arrows. So let's wish them luck. Holy shit! Oh. Those tears of joy, how they kept flowing. Uh, we could, do, we could uh, boost each other, I guess. Yo, I there don't... is a oh, there's here. traps. Guys, we got this. Boys, if we all run at the same time, we can do it. Everybody, come here, everybody. We all run together. Okay, us three. Let's go. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Run him! Run straight! Run straight! In the end, they they did get the bows and stuff, but at what cost? Meanwhile, in the main courtyard, another group solves another mini puzzle, clearing the way into the parkour room, which I designed. No, I designed. It was a collaboration. So this is the first one in. Let's see how he does on the left side of the parkour room. You, that's a difficult jump. First time. Great awareness on the traps too. Yeah, you gotta stand on this ladder and then jump to the other one. I'm hungry. Can you wait? I promised you rivers. Rivers of blood. Yeah, yeah. It's actually infuriating how well he's doing. What are you, Kothi Raj or something? Who is this guy? Yeah, now you have to backtrack over here, which is also not exactly intuitive. He's almost made it. First one in. I've never been so mad. Ah, that's better. Now let's look at the other path. This one's actually the easier side. You just jump from here to here, then here, there. You go that way. 
I don't know why they kept insisting on jumping here. I, I mean, it's not that complicated. This is hard. Uh, I don't think anyone actually made it on this side. Look at them piling up. And you know what? It's not all my fault. I mean, look at this mutinous crew. Here's one carefully resetting the traps behind him so that everyone can enjoy them. The Tesla coils go off at absolute random, by the way. And I swear to God that this is just a beautiful karmic coincidence. And I guess there is some superficial similarity between this and UKN aim practice, though I understand why this would happen. At one point, vandalism was also on the table. Shoot out the electric coils. But cooler heads prevailed. Don't destroy the coils, they are part of the parkour. Okay. Oh, damn. And after about 10 minutes, one finally managed to brave my little parkour room. Well, technically speaking. Mmm, crispy. Compliments to the chef. Anyway, it took about 10 minutes more for success to be achieved. They slew the chef, which was pre-damaged, got this ladder, put it here, and the vanguard is now scouting out the next room. <laughs> what the f*** is this? These are zombie NPCs. Minions. Also, did you figure out the puzzle? Granted, it's a lot easier when not being murdered by zombie NPCs. Boys, we need the bow! Damn, are those zombies? So, using the bows from the death room, they cleared out the zombies. And one of them figured out this jumping puzzle, where he got a couple of revies. Then came the obligatory, if somewhat unexplainable, PvP stage of the arena. And then I brought in the mini boss. Good. Probably by luck they figured out the right strategy, which is to spread out, Kill the zombie. allowing the better geared players a chance at shooting the thing without getting grenaded. But that still took a while, and I did get my money's worth out of the guy. And after the horrors of war came a period of peace, cooperation and prosperity as they tried to figure out the puzzle. Here, pistol bullets on the ground. Can you Leave rest me please? Pistol bullets behind you. Pistol, yeah I'm resting you. Pistol bullets behind you. Dude. Thank Revo, you. dude. Revo. There's a hundred. Hundred bullets. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You want to hear a joke? I do? Why do American girls only walk in groups of three, five or seven? What? Because they can't even. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's that's not bad. And then someone actually gets it. Oh, down right target. Shoot the down right target. No, 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 no. I try hit every every. Hey, can I have a bow? Never mind. Never mind. I got one. Hey! Oh, it opened the door! It's open! Wh which one was it? Which one? The, he said, uh, down right open the first door. Bottom right actually opens the second door, so some of them got in first. Maybe it has to be like a combination of doors. Maybe it's combined. It's oh, open! Go, 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 go. Uh, I found, they found me. Once inside, they shot the targets out of the window, which we placed there for that purpose. And into the dining room we go. Go, 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 go! Let's I go! go. Uh, I got pickles, we got pickles. Do you like my art? How much do you think I can get for those? Don't eat pickles, I ate die. like seven pickles in a row and I didn't die. Alright, we gotta rest. Lucky, we gotta eat. what's up here then? <gasps> Make bed! There's beds up here! There's beds up here, everyone take a bed. So you can spawn here. Just take one bed, okay? Don't be a d and take multiple, okay? Cause that's just f Indeed, as we approach the final stage, I wanted everyone to have a spawn point closer to the action. And speaking of the last stretch, this is the ice maze. 
where long and winding paths will take the victims to one of three possible endgames, where they can find a minicopter and escape. This building on the right is one of these endgames, and we're about to meet the first winner. Neither of these two is the first winner. Generally, in FPS games, it's known that players don't look up so much. This next one, though, seeing the bodies, is much more careful. And it's a tight race. If one of those two had a weapon, they could have pulled a last second upset and won it right here. But they don't, so they didn't. And there goes our first winner. All that shooting in the background, by the way, that's the two other endgame arenas. Here, let me show you. Through the maze you reach this door, which welcomes you in. Unfortunately it also closes automatically behind you, and here, well, is not a fun place to be. But we did hide a bunch of respawning weapon caches in the earlier parts of the maze, so that players would have at least a fighting chance. At the end of this first arena, there's a little safe house where players can gear up for the final fight. And the final fight is a large arena full of scientists. Note the graves. Now at the end of this, a locked door. Hmm, where to find the key, I wonder? And beyond lay our means of escape. And sweet victory. Oh, and I'm taking my time showing you this because goddamn Rust players can't do riddles or parkour to save their lives, but those hours on UKN pay off. They cut through these arenas like Juice Hyuk through a Malin topspin. What a chop. <laughs> Bang! So that's pretty much what the players did to my scientists. A bit anticlimactic, I know, but there you have it. This one guy just made it through like it was nothing. Well done, man. In the last arena, though, we actually got a surprise ending. This guy was the first to find the key, and so he shut the door behind him, like you do. And that makes sense, that's how you win, that's how we set it up, one key. But then he comes back, opens the door and lets this other guy inside. And it's not like the event description was unclear, three minicopters, three winners. But they stuck together anyway, through to the end. No backstabbing or anything. I mean, at least not intentionally. Did you catch that? Almost snatched defeat from the jaws of victory right there. That could have been hilarious. At least one headset broken in a fit of rage. But anyway, they stuck together through to the end, knowing that one of them isn't winning but only helping the other. Faith in humanity restored, I guess. God damn it! Okay, but up to the point where everyone shoots at them, it was a heartwarming moment. So I rewrote the rules and we had four prize winners instead of the planned three. And that's how I spent my Halloween. To be honest, a condensed, highly edited video could never do it justice. There were lots of crazy moments, laughs, misery, tragedy, it was a wholesale slaughter. It was great. And I guess this is my way of letting you know that we run these events every month, and my invitation to you to participate. Next month is a new event, completely different and possibly even more ridiculous. But there's gonna be prizes just the same. And I'm gonna make a video just the same. So join the Discord and get notified. It's an RSVP kind of situation. Also, you know how there's a PayPal donation link in my video description? The prizes go out of my pocket, so if you want to contribute to this little part of the Rust community and make it bigger, feel free. But I'll keep doing these regardless. See, Rust can be a lot of things. It just depends on how creative you are and what kind of community you build. And don't worry, we'll return to our customary Rust-based design programming next week. 
And who knows, there might just be rivers of blood.